Beginner versus amateur versus pro is a format we've all become familiar with. But what happens when you want to take things up a level and turn it up a notch? Well, you rope in three-time Olympic gold medalist and six-time world champion Ed Clancy OBE. This is beginner versus amateur versus Olympic gold medalist. I'm at the Lee Valley Velodrome in London, which was host to the 2012 Olympic track cycling events. But for 2021, it will host rounds four and five of the all new Track Champions League, which is set to be the most high tech, most viewer interactive and most fiercely contested track racing the world has seen. But today I've got a completely different style of race lined up because I want to know how an amateur and a beginner will stack up against a multi-time Olympic gold medalist. So let me introduce you to our riders for the day who are going to be competing over a one kilometre time trial. Fantastic. This is Elliot, our beginner who has ridden the velodrome just once before. He's 176 centimetres tall, weighs 68 kilograms, and recently finished in last place for his age category at a mountain bike race. He's a soon-to-be dad, and I'm told was once a very good swimmer. Oh, and in just a few months' time, he'll be my brother-in-law. Stepping in as our amateur for the day is me, ex-professional road cyclist and retired car mechanic. I'm 186 centimetres tall, 80-ish kilograms, and a few years ago won the sprints jersey at the Tour of Britain. These days I ride at a much slower pace and while I hate to admit it, my track knowledge is quite limited. And of course, our three-time Olympic gold medalist and six-time world champion Ed Clancy OBE, who won gold on this very track in 2012. Having retired earlier this year from the Great Britain cycling team, Ed will still compete in the Track Champions League, but spends more of his time working on other cool cycling projects. He is 186 centimetres tall, weighs in at 78 kilograms, and still manages to produce over 2,000 watts of power. Oh guys, thanks for joining us. I know you both got busy schedules, so I will cut straight to the chase. Four laps of the London Velodrome, standing start of course. Fastest time, well he's gonna win of course and get an incredible prize. Um, are you feeling ready, Ed, are you ready? Well, I haven't done a warm up and I haven't really rode my bike since Tokyo, but always ready mate. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Elliot, how are you feeling? A few nerves, I'm not gonna lie. Um, a few nerves. Yeah. In fact, I wonder if you had any tips. Oh yeah, of course, so it's important to get the Sorry, standards. Alex, don't wanna cut you off, but I was actually asking Ed. Okay, oh. yeah. yeah, sorry Al. All right, um, yeah. All right, Elliot, I guess I've got three tips for you. Tip number one, brace yourself for impact, mate. This is a horrible event. It really is. Tip number two, pacing. It's an interesting one. It is possible to go out too fast in a kilo and blow your doors and absolutely crawl home. But at the same time, you want to make the most of that start because the relationship between wind resistance and speed isn't linear. So you've got to invest early. The third tip is the same as tip number one. Just brace for impact, mate. This is going to be ugly. Let's do it. Oh. Yeah, but hold on, Al. Isn't Manon the track expert here? What, what are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. You've got that all wrong. I'm perfectly clued up on what we're doing. Oh, what does Alex want now? Hi, Alex. How are you? Oh, Manon. How are you? Help me out. I'm in a bit of trouble. Um, I've got a really important track event coming up next week. And I need to be able to convince everyone I really know what on earth I'm doing. I need to look tip top, look really pro. I mean, have you got any tips or something I can have? Um, just, yeah, hit me, help me out. Um, tips? I'd say definitely keep pedaling and just ride as hard as you can and try and look professional. That, that'll get you a long way. Well, yeah, all right, thanks very much. I won't take up any more of your time. Wish me the best of luck, see ya. Well, good luck, bye. Um, anyway, Elliot, I think you're up first. Let's go get your bike, shall we? Come on then. Yes, Alex, is this mine? Absolutely not. No way are you riding that. We've got a higher bike lined up. This way, come on.
Right, Elliot, are you ready and warmed up? Not really, mate, no. Oh, fantastic. Right, ready and three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Come on, up, 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 up! Two laps! Two, two, two! One lap, last lap, 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 go, 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 go! How was that? I can't explain how hard that was. Great! I could have pointed out, you could have ridden at the bottom of the track. It might have been a little bit, it might have been a little bit quicker. Anyway, catch your breath. I'm gonna be up next. All right, Alex, ready to show us how it's done? Uh, yeah, I think so. And go. Oh, God, no countdown. Two more to go. Come on, mate. Bad, mate. I cannot go any faster. Right. How was Should that? we go and get Ed to have a go? Let's do it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I've got shaky legs. <laughs> Cheers. You got the bike? Got the bike. Oh, let's do it. Ready? Come on. Nobody's on. ever ready for a kilo. This yeah. is a horrible event. Right, I've got your bike. Cheers, Al. Let's do right. this. Clipped in, you good? Right, and three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Oh, there he is. Nice. How are you? Good I job. This the, it's the worst event, the key. Ah, right, Elliot, have you caught your breath? Just about. Yeah, I've caught my breath. How are you feeling, Ed, all right? Yeah. Apart from feeling sick, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I've actually got the results of our efforts stored up here in my mind. But before I reveal the results to everyone at home, do we want to try and guess what we did? Yeah, uh, sure. Elliot, what, what do you reckon you did for our one kilometer time drive? Bearing in mind, um, What's like the current world record? What sort of times are we at? Uh, people consistently go under the minute now if they're going for it. Full race kit, taper, good okay. conditions. I think we might not be under the minute. What do you estimate? Minute 30, hopefully. Minute 30, okay. Well, for myself, I'm gonna... Hopefully I'll go under 120, maybe 115 if I'm feeling good. Ed, what are you hoping that you've achieved? Uh, in the 2012 Olympics right here, I yeah. think we did a 100 point three or four. How's the form from the 2012 Olympics? Well, <laughs> it's a long time ago and we've been given it a bit of post-Olympic activity recently. So yeah. Okay. We're not on a low pro, we've got no tri bars, What's no race estimate? consume. 110. 110. Okay, right, I've got the results and I will reveal them. So, Elliot, you did one minute, 27 seconds. Happy? I'll take that. Yeah, nice. That's I did down. one minute, 20 seconds. I thought I might have gone a bit quicker, actually. Um, and Ed, oh come on, you absolutely smashed it. One zero five. Ah. Happy? Oh yeah, I'll take that. That's all right. That's um, all right. Yeah. So at the start of this video, yeah. obviously I did say there was going to be an incredible prize for the winner. The prize, of course, for you is going to be a GCN water bottle, and I don't have one <laughs> with me now. So if you'd be kind enough to get in contact with us on Facebook, yeah. and we'll get the water bottle out to you. Great, that's brilliant. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And remember, check out the Track Champions League website for all the information and, of course, to book your tickets. If you want to let us know what you thought about our race, let us know in the comments down below. Oh, mega. See ya.